My name is Ruth Mandumba and I'm a British rifle shooter who is currently supported by Sports Aid and GBC and I'm hoping to go to the 2024 Olympics. My name is Bramble Williams. I am an e-learning coordinator at GBC as part of the talent and development team. I'm also a member of a team of volunteers who are working on creating a children's black history learning platform. So Ruth, how did you start doing what you're doing? So I was in the army cadets at school um, between the ages of 13 and 18. And we used to go around the country doing summer camps. And one of the activities that they'd have us do was shooting. And from the beginning, I was just hooked on it. So I decided to carry on and that's how I'm doing it today. How about you? So um, prior to the current role I'm in at GBC, um, I taught history um, for nine years at an inner city um, all boys secondary school. So I've always been passionate about education, learning and history. So I was given the opportunity to get involved in a project to create a black history learning platform for children. I jumped at the opportunity and I've been doing it ever since and I'm thoroughly enjoying it. So what motivates you to do what you do? I'm a strong believer in self-motivation and I think that just comes from naturally being quite a driven and ambitious person. Um, I'm also, you know, I think being a father um, really helps. Um, being responsible for other human beings is a massive motivational tool. How about you? Um, I think my motivation comes from my, like, just general love for the sport. I love what I'm doing and I do want to be the best that I can be. And so I think that drive to kind of push myself to be the best is a huge motivation. But aside from that, I also have this big thing about wanting to be an ambassador and a role model in the sport. Um, I am quite different to other people in my sport. And so I use that as motivation to hopefully be a role model to other people who are like me um, to get involved. So how do you deal with adversity? I'd say that I'm really big on like mental training and um, strengthening the mental side of not just sport, but everything else in my life as well. And so I think I always try and have a positive outlook on life and kind of always try to remind myself that my talents are there, my skills are there and my abilities are there. So even if I am faced with adversity, I find it really important to remind myself of that and to just see everything in a positive light. So you mentioned that you were involved in developing this new educational platform. Who do you think needs to be educated? I think everybody needs to be educated. Um, a lack of education or miseducation is what can often lead to ignorance. And ignorance can often progress into something more darker or sinister in terms of like racism, discrimination, prejudice. So no matter what point we are in our lives, I think if the opportunity arises for us to educate ourselves, or educate other people, I think we should definitely take that opportunity. So, do you have any thoughts on education at all? I do, I think, um, so for me in particular, when I was growing up, I don't remember really seeing much black history at all in my education throughout school. Um, and it's sad, I guess, as a black child to not know about your history. And um, so I do think that, like you say, it's something that you know, could change. And then I also think from a sporting perspective, it would be great to see, you know, the history of black athletes, especially black British athletes. Um, I think it'd be a great way to kind of inspire young black kids, but also give them a way to learn about their history as well. So if you could be mentored by anyone, past or present, who would it be? So if I could be mentored by anybody at all, it would definitely be Barack Obama. Um, and the reason why I say that is because he single-handedly achieved what I think most people would assume would have been impossible. And that was becoming, you know, the first black president of the United States of America. Um, in terms of you, like? If it were me, um, I'd have to say Rosa Parks. So I think she's just such an iconic figure, especially within like, I'd say any civil rights movement. and. I think just that display of bravery and courage is something that I, you know, aspire to have. I hope that, you know, I, I come across as being brave and courageous. Um, and yeah, I think it'd be great to have a mentor like that to kind of pass on those things, those traits. So what does Black History Month mean to you? 
So I think um, I use Black History Month as a time to kind of reflect on where I come from and my origins. Um, so my parents moved to the UK over two and a half decades ago now. And I think I'm always so grateful that they made that choice and you know chose that path for their lives because it's allowed me to experience so many opportunities that I wouldn't have had if they hadn't have chosen that. Um, and I'm also so incredibly proud to be able to call myself Black British because you know it's a term that I used to describe myself with pride, as I say, because once upon a time that's a duality that could have seemed impossible. Um, so yeah, I just I always use this month to reflect on that and think of you know the positivities of Black History Month and why it is so important. How about you? In terms of my heritage, my dad came to this country from the Caribbean islands. Um, and that was actually during the Windrush generation. So we had a very um, indifferent experience when he first came to this country, um, notably for the fact that, you know, he was black. Um, and also he had lots of black qualifications, lots of experience that wasn't like, necessarily recognized in this country. So he kind of had to really kind of start a whole new life, um, which was very difficult for him. Um, so, you know, black issue for my mom, for me is, it's a period of time, like I said, for us all to reflect and acknowledge what, what black culture has brought um, to Great Britain, um, but also just from a personal perspective for me to kind of get in touch with, you know, my culture um, and my history.